Live at 10. Thousands of people looking for public housing in Omaha called the moment applications opened. But instead of getting an appointment for a place to live, they spent hours on hold and heard error messages. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. Craig has the night off. Tonight, reporter Maya Sines went to the Omaha Housing Authority to get some answers about what happened. Maya? Well, Jen, the Omaha Housing Authority listed the phone number applicants were supposed to call to schedule an appointment to apply for Section 8 housing. OHA had 1,000 appointments available on their wait list and thousands called, but many couldn't get through or would get hung up on, costing them an appointment and possibly their home. We're going to call this woman Tammy. She did not want us to disclose her identity. She was one of nearly 9,000 people who called the Omaha Housing Authority last Tuesday with hopes of getting an appointment for Section 8 public housing assistance. I woke up at 735. I had the number already programmed, so when 759 hit, I called. The waitlist application opened at 8 a.m. I got through six times and it was, you know, um, your time is greater than two minutes. Your time is greater than one minute. Application error. Tammy says she needed the help, so she stayed home and spent hours on the phone. At 445, someone finally gets on the phone and they're confused about what I'm calling for. And I explained to them and they said, well, I think you have the wrong number. And I explained to them, I said, no, I've been calling this number since 8 o'clock this morning. And I got hung up on we went to Omaha Housing Authority and spoke to executives to find out what the problem was. Uh, there is sometimes a, a long wait period. Uh, this time was unusual. Interim Executive Director Christine Johnson said the problem was with a third party call center. At any one time there was 900 calls in the queue. Uh, those calls would then roll over to uh, another call center and they were not prepared uh, to receive those calls. OHA says the center also didn't deactivate last year's phone number. So many people called that number, creating confusion amongst callers and leaving those who spend hours on hold without an appointment and assistance. So unfortunately, uh, we don't have the funding or the supply of housing to extend that any farther. For now, OHA offers an apology. We do understand their frustration and we would like to apologize. Um, that's not how we want to do business and we want to be there to serve them. OHA tells me they will no longer be using that call center. Moving forward, OHA will also use a computerized lottery system. People will sign up online, then after a week applications will close and the computer will randomly select applicants from there. Reporting live from the studio, Maya Sines, 3 News Now.